Thanks. I'm not sure. And welcome back to Dying Light. So, I have done research and I've noticed you guys really enjoy Brecken's mission failed. Minecraft and Jade Dying Light. In the tower. <laughs> it's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. I'm sorry, we just can't play that at the moment because of internet Me not issues. being home. I'm not home at the moment. I'm still out at my grandparents' house. Which is also why worse quality, worse... Uh, there's no, um... Little character. Yeah. There's no little fella. You killed him. No. Not my elf Dude. boy. Crane. Listen. Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? Say it. You can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jay, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. <sighs> Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. It's crazy to think about that while all this is going on, um, in the second game, your character, I believe, is being a test subject at this point in time for the GRE project. Huh? There's something else. So we're a test subject. In the second game, yes. So in the first game, we're a GRE agent. Second game, we are some doctors. Anti seizure drugs were being passed out to me when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named. Oh, you left. What happened? Together there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her. And it crashed. She died. He likes his think he's been stockpiling it? Me. Yep, she crashed. Way in order to rejoin, I'm gonna go ahead and write the elevator down. Semi start what we need to do because it's literally just running around, so. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Now that won't be awkward at all. Oh god, her internet crashed bad. I have a storm over here. We'll see how long it takes her to get back.
Oh yeah, for anyone wondering, um, because we played the this, we ended up buying some weapons from there so we can, you know, just play around with some fun stuff. <laughs> Do I have a UV flashlight? I do. Where's the army? <laughs> also for anyone who doesn't understand why I have gold weapons at the moment it is because I did the Bozak arena thing and I had some tokens from there that I turned in so She is, she is returned. Is my voice cutting out at all? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, you've been gone. I've just been sat here running around. I have stream open. Oh, so you've seen me just running around jumping over a fence. Yes. Yeah, I'm leveling up my agility. You can just sit there and do that and get max agility. Yep. It's actually better if you do it at night, because at night, instead of getting 10 agility, you'd get 20. So I had some weird air thing that said I couldn't play with you because of the world levels. Um, hmm. Just now? Character that... No. Before when my game decided to crash. Oh. It might be a bug with your game because it also shows to me that you're not, um, that you have 0% of the story done. That's because I kind of do. Well, you're supposed to level up the story with me, so you should have a percentage of your story yes, done. I also have mine on regular difficulty. I don't have it on nightmare, that's what I'm saying. You're that saying shouldn't because matter. Because if on nightmare, I couldn't play with you, and then it crashed, and then my internet crashed. Uh, hmm. You might have just had an issue with the PSN. Because Nightmare Difficulty is something you can access at the very beginning. You don't have to beat the game or anything to unlock it. Yeah, no, because I'm at the same part in the story where we left off at. When we join the fight, you know? If it does it again, I'll just have to make a new character on Nightmare Mode. Well, since you've done first assignment, you can probably just skip back to first assignment, but 
I'd rather you not have to do that. That's fine, but if I have to, I will. Yeah. The only difference between all of the difficulties in Nightmare is med kits are timed based, so you can. You have to wait for them to actually heal you, which is more realistic, and. Enemies hit harder, but there's better loot drops. That's fine, Tom. Tom what it means. Yeah. There we go. It didn't pop up with a menu or anything this time? Uh, what menu are you talking about? About you, uh, joining... Or, that you couldn't join? It only said that it'll be slightly harder because you're on nightmare mode. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> only thing that it popped up with. Which does upset me that, like, there is no real challenge difference between playing on story mode and nightmare mode. Crane here. Like, it is rather upsetting. Because everything Crane still takes the same damage. The other likely suspect is this so it's not like, oh, I have a 40 guy. damaging Calls weapon in lies. nightmare mode, in so in story mode it's gonna do like 80. No, some. they, they both do 40. From the airdrop. You do the but same amount of damage. Job, the Crane. same amount of enemies and everything. Everything's the same. It's just you take more damage and make it are on a time delay. Okay. So do you see how on the bottom, or not bottom right, but uh, you see how on the right side of your screen how you have the, uh, how you have two mission objectives? Do you have something called a bounty on your screen, Mushroom? No. Oh. Um... No. Hold on. Come here. You might need to accept the bounty. Like, on your personal thing. I don't know if this is... I, I've never done the bounties. But the one I have... I, I just accept them and I don't target them. But... Uh, Spore. I interact with that board. Killing your enemies or just grab ball? Grab them ball. Anytime you see a bounty, grab it. Okay. Right now, I have the one... Alright. Right now, I have the one equipped for collect 50 requisition packages. Um, okay. That's literally just collecting supply drops and then turning them in. Uh, if I'll you collect... You can... Yeah? You can I get can... better weapons from the Hell thing. Yeah, Hell Raid has a lot better weapons. I'm, I'm not going to yeah, use a lot of the Hell Raid weapons because at the moment it kind of feels a little bit cheesy to me. Again, I like the, I like having a challenge. Mushroom likes to play the game normally. I'm more of the extremist for playing games. Dude, for instance, I don't really like playing horror games in that short zombie mode, so I'm fine yeah. with picking up the weapons that do more damage. And... I have but two in my inventory. Kind of cheating, but if someone finds it cheating, then that's their point. Yeah, we can go ahead and do this. This will give us uh, join it. Do what? Join the thing. What? There you go. First, to find the airdrop, we get 600 free movement points for literally Crane. just Three doing the mission.
So, I, I want you to guess how you can find what an airdrop is. Take a wild guess as to what the airdrop signal is. Oh, it went away. Never mind. Okay, so... I'll check out what's inside. Normally, there is a... Ugh, I can't this way. Normally, there's a, um... A red smoke that comes out of them. Okay, cool. I got to the thing. Ooh, I don't want to do this yet. Okay. Before we open that supply drop, let's go grab this uh, safe house over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a safe house right next to us. We might as well grab it while we're here. Wait, we can redo this over and over again? What? Join it, and then you go over there and, gra and uh, run to the supply drop. And I'll just clear this air this out. Go ahead and get your free XP. <laughs> go right ahead and get that free XP. <laughs> huh? I wanted to see something, but I can't make the jump. Oh, uh, did you try doing what I did? Uh, yeah. Okay, see, I don't. I just don't like being able to one hand everything. But okay. I do like though that they put a limit. Uh, yeah, interact with it. There you go. Oh no, I lost. Oh, you walked away from it. Oh, you walked away from it. <laughs> I was trying to teleport to you. Oh. There we go. Wait, what? I could do it again. <laughs> That's so funny. You could just farm that for uh, mobility XP. Yeah. Damn it. Nothing here. Except it actually made me open it and do the cutscene since you were right there. Yeah, because I was right there. Cool. So you just saw what it looks like to have an airdrop drop into the world. Okay? So, now, anytime you see that, we need to go for it. Sorry, I was putting in my level. For, uh... Did you level up your agility when winning that, by the I way? I don't know, I didn't check. Uh, you should check and put your level in, if you did. Us. Okay. And then once when you get out of that, I will show you what to watch out for while randomly running around. Because I have made a mistake and accidentally called in a horde on me because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to unlock this. Okay, so you see that roof that you were standing on, that weird cardboard one? Yeah. That roof, if you smack it or land on it too hard, it will break and it'll make a lot of noise and it'll call cause uh, vultures to run after you. Oh. Uh, if you want to come over here, there's actually a really good item in this box to sell. The gold jewelry for me. I don't know if it's going to be there for you, but... I am just going to dismantle this. And then make some more lockpicks. Okay. Like, if you can... Those those buildings will also break your fall. So, like, if you have to land on one, you can. But if you know you're going to take fall damage if you were to land on it, and there was something else you can land on, land on the other thing. Okay. Uh, oh, you need that one. Yep. Oh, there's a survivor up here. Is he... Oh, he's a shop survivor. Okay. So, you see how there's this blinking blue dude up here? No, I'm 
currently not near you, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about when you're mini-map. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't pop up for you. So, randomly you'll have survivors that'll pop up on your map. They'll either be shops or people you can talk to to um, save. If you save them, you usually get a lot of money or really good rewards out of it. So they are rather worth stopping by sometimes. That's fine, but he didn't even show up for me, so I opened it. Thanks. Sorry, I'm still sick, so I'm drinking very fruit-packed drinks to make me feel better. Also, I suggest you have your uh, UV light equipped for this mission. Uh, how do I do that? Or left arrow, and then UV flashlight. You should have one from. Um, you use L two to activate it. I'm confused. I pressed on it now. Now click L two. There you go. Okay, so that has a time limit for how long you can have it active. It constantly, it will always come back. It just is on a recharge. Um, you use that to fend off anything of the night. So any nighttime zombies uh, that only appear at night, you can hit them with that and they'll run away from you. Okay. Jade Rice's man got here first. Okay, okay. Also, we're supposed to run from this, uh, group, but we can just kill them. Almost dead. I'm oh, you dead. Did die. Yeah, yeah, these guys, these guys hit rather hard. Okay, game, thank you for letting that happen. Ah, I was trying to revive you. Yeah, I know. It's your dark business. In this game, you don't want to use melee weapons against people unless you have, like, heavily, heavily high heavy damaging weapons. I believe we're in the safe house. Yeah, we're in the safe house that I claimed earlier. But I do want to kill the guys on that, on that, uh, supply drop and take it because... I believe we can find grenades in that supply drop that they are at. Okay, apparently I can't grab to that. There we go. It's right here. That is so stupid. Dead. 
Remember, they do also have ragdoll effects, so if you do manage to drop kick one. Um, ow! I have five health. Well, I'm dead. I'm just Keep in mind, bandits are not this strong. Even after we do this mission, they're only this strong in this mission because we're not supposed to grab the supply drop. So, but, we can get it even though we're not supposed to? Yeah, we're not supposed to get this one. But if we do, the reward out of it is actually pretty good. Um... So, taking over a supply drop that Rise's men has already taken, if we fight them and take it back, we can tend to get either... We guarantee one requisition pack, and we'll get a random other reward that'll either be uh, two medkits or... Um... Why is running so fast? Huh? Nothing. One of them is running really fast. Uh, it's probably a Volter. Basically, the runners of this game. No, you're fine. Um. Not really. I mean, no, you're fine. As and I'm waiting on you. Well, we're not going for the most loot game. We're trying to kill these bandits and both grab a reward out of the box. Normally, I cheese this by simply... Um... Normally I cheese this by simply using uh, shurikens or throwing knives. Oh, I'm dead. Ow! But currently I don't have shurikens or throwing You might as well just kill yourself and run back. Because okay. if I can stay alive while you get back here, then... These guys won't respawn. Also, if you leave your flashlight on, uh, the pe the human bandits will actually be able to track you down. Like, your flashlight does actually cause you to gain detection. Well, I figured. If we both target the same dude, he can't really do anything about it. <laughs> that dude did not care about us at all. Yeah, no. Alright, now go through, search them, you'll get a good amount of cash off of them, which is pretty high for how early on we are. They're nice. Nice. Yeah, you can use throwing nice knives to cheese the uh, human enemies. You can do the same thing if you kick them mid-combat. Um, it's the same premise in the second game. And we got grenades and pistol ammo for this. Because uh, we really weren't supposed to do this one, there is no requisition pack in this. 
but we got grenades and a lot of other good stuff so conducting liquid I don't care about that's for if you want to use um, electricity stuff but we got five grenades out of this. Well, I, at least I did. Can we not unlock this as a safe house? Though? This is already a safe house, but because we're in this specific mission, it isn't considered a safe house. Oh. Yeah. It's That's boring. Kind of stupid. It is. It's it's not it's not fun. But once when we do the next part of this mission, uh, and it becomes a uh, full night. Uh, we will be able to actually use that as a legitimate safe house. Can I? Can you climb this? I don't. You, oh wait, no. Yeah, you can if you have the grappling hook. So, do you want to know why requisition packs are so important to grab? Chris, it's too close to sunset. You need to turn sure. back now. Requisition packs yeah, is what there. you turn into the. Um. Shit! I need to go in there. You just almost killed me with this zombie. Oh, no. No, oh, back off. Ooh. How are you still up? You know what? Um, I no longer see an issue with using. Oh no, survivor died. <laughs> I no longer see an issue with Mushroom using the uh, how raid weapons. <laughs> well, I don't because <laughs> I'm starting to use them myself. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. There is no point in capping capping ourselves like that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up buying a full set of them. Oh, I already have a full set. I don't care to use them because you can't put mods on them. Yeah, but they're at least decent now. Oh yeah, they're really good weapons. You just can't mod them, which is the only reason why I care to not use them. I like my weapon mods. Yeah, but since we don't really have mods right now, or... Oh, yeah. Maybe? I don't know. No, we don't. At the at the current moment, we do not have weapon mods. Yeah, since we don't have them and we're not really using them, I don't care for it. Mhm. Mm How did you get stuck there? <laughs> Confuse the small one. Shut up. <laughs> you are confused though, aren't you? Yes, I am. Exactly. I have confused the small one. Yeah, I'm starting to get pissed off because I can't find a way up there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Cool. I have claimed this as a safe house. Um. Okay. What part are you at on this thing? I can't necess I can't exactly look down to you. Um. Oh, did you find it? I don't know. Are you climbing up? <laughs> yes. Then yes, you found it. <laughs> okay, so annoyingly enough, every time we see these towers, we should try to climb to the top of them. Because there is a reward on the very top of some of these that will give us basically almost a free level up. I almost went off the edge. Nice, there's 500 free XP just for climbing to the top of a tower. God, I hate standing on top of these towers. Because your vision goes all wonky.
Alright, you're almost to the top. Where the reward thing is. Oh, shit. Hi. Hi. Over here. There's a, there's a ladder. <laughs> uh oh. Look up. There's a ladder. That's what there I you know go. there was. <laughs> On the, okay. the pole out there, there's a flag straight in front of me. You gotta crouch on the pole and then walk out. You got it? Yes. Cool, now bye. Oh, I missed it! <laughs> There's a, uh... Yeah, I see it. You can either land on that or you can climb back down, halfway down the thing and use the zip lines. We need to go that way and there is no zip line that way, I don't think. Yeah, I know there isn't. There's a line right there. Can I jump and use it? I don't know. What button is the zip line to get onto it? R1. Okay, well, I'll test my theory. Yes, you can. But oh. I... There we go. What nope, the fuck did you just do? Uh, I spammed the button so it would grab onto it, ungrab, grab onto it, and then stop grabbing. And then <laughs> I did the not button. know you could do that. We gotta go that way. There we go. Trash. Well, I made it at seven. <laughs> I just saw I saw you over there in the corner of my eye. On top of the building. Yeah. Rush to I got the, on top of the building, so supply the drop. That wouldn't get me, but Might as well join it. I already did. Before we do this, uh, ow. It is so weird playing, we might as well just run to the supply drop and claim the XP we wore at least, but. Cool, made it to the supply drop. Now we go this way because this safe house has saved me during this mission so many times. I have any more med kits. Nope. You can see if you can craft any in your inventory. That's fine, but I'd rather not have things be attacking me. No, you're fine. That's why I like the Dying Light crafting system over the Dead Island crafting system, because... Um... Fuck it. Might as well. I'm at 25 health though, so I don't think I can be much help. Uh, you just have to kill the uh, the zombie. Yep, and because it's a draw, and I killed one zombie. So there's three zombies here. I killed one before the mission started. So since I killed one and you killed one, we both got the XP. Because it was yeah. a draw. Yeah. I was gonna make something, but... You can make it. 
That's fine. You run off, and now I don't feel safe to go anywhere. You're in a safe house. <laughs> yeah. Make I'm not whatever. Be make whatever you want to make. <laughs> I did, but now I don't feel safe to go out. Oh. Here. Yeah. You should be able to fast travel to me. So this is your first instance of to see how bad the GRE really is. Queen here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Antizen is what stops people from becoming infected. Nightmares. In this game and in the next game, they only come out at nighttime. But skill points are doubled and everything at night. However, they tend to not hang around safe houses. Can we go to that safe house? No. Yep. Yep, we can go to safe house. I'm out of stamina. Run, 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 climb. Car explosion. Jump into safe house. And just like that, we evaded the pursuit. See, so they don't like that we're in here. Because they're weak to UV light. So if you want to see what, uh, where'd you go? I went in the building. <laughs> Come here. Not okay, so and so these guys, you know how I told you to have your UV light equipped? Yeah. Shine them with it. We're in a safe area. I can't do it. You can. You can. Huh. See how they start glowing really orange and smoking? Yeah. Uh, if we're out in the world and not in a safe house, they will actually run away from us. But. Mm -hmm. We want to avoid these guys as best as possible. So if you climb, if you turn around, <laughs> climb up here. Oh, up there? Why? Mm -hmm. Well, they're currently, because we've been messing around with them, they're all over on that side of the building, right? So yeah. we go this way. Uh, can't we just stay here? Nope, we need to get back to the tower. Once when we get back to the tower, uh, whoa, that was a bad corner for me to turn. Okay, you are running off, leaving them all. It's with me. because I'm being chased down to death. I am sorry. Yeah, and I'm stuck. I think one of them just fell. Okay, cool. I found a safe house. Pursuit evaded. Right. Run through here. Now, you know how I was doing that little jumpy thing earlier down here? Uh, oh. Wait. 
Agility and power are doubled at night. Escape the pursuit gives you gives you a big agility boost. The longer we're out at night, the longer the more survival points we get. But what we can do is since we're okay, so at it's nighttime, we're getting twenty percent now, right? If we go yeah. into the safe house, we'd only be getting the normal daytime XP. So you have to be actually be out at night in order to reap these rewards. But like that, I just leveled up again. Well, come on. Come on, game. There we go. I just leveled up again. So then I can come up here. So how much do we get for this? You get 20 per depending on what you do. That's an issue. Yeah. Don't shine your light at it. Make it run, Mushroom! Make it fear you! There's more! No, run back inside! No, run back inside! No, run back inside! <laughs> I'm <laughs> Congratulations, you have learned you have learned my XP farming. So then you come to this side of the building. I don't think that there is actually there isn't a way to farm XP on this side of the building, sadly. Actually wait. No. Right here. In this barrel. You can jump up it. Does that actually give you XP? Yes. Hmm. Agility leveled up. Nice. There we go. Alright, so now that you leveled up your agility, there's no point in doing that for right now. Monkey wrench. Well, we have DLC weapon um, blueprints as well. Yeah. Where do I go to sell stuff? Uh, over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. It's fine. There should be a, um... Made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. Thing up here. It is no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him uh, shop up here. Aunt is in. That's fine. I'm going to everyone. I am as well. There should be a shop right here. Whoa, a legendary monkey wrench. He's in his workshop downstairs. So you see how there's only three things you can buy and then two of them are marked by a red little star thing? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that is your survival rank. You need to level up your survival rank in order to unlock these. Guess how you level up your survival rank? Survive in the night. No. Well, yes and no. Okay, so to level up your survival rank, you can either escape pursuits, uh, survive a full night, or turn in requisition packs. Okay. Now, airdrops drop twice. They drop every 12 hours. However, you can cheese this by... I believe you can change time at some point. I forget how, though. But, um, you can, you can farm these very, very easily.
I believe they drop at six on the dot every time. Or something? Something around there. How do I get one more nail? I do. N okay, so nails and duct tape are dropped through. Um, it, while exploring around, you'll find these yellow bins. Um, you can open those, and they have a chance of having nails, duct tape, and electronic components. You're having fun with your little UV light. <laughs> I know, I can see it. <laughs> Come on. I, know. I mean, we need answers. I know. But buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. We've already been going for an hour. We didn't have to really? You just decided yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, a majority of that hour was waiting for you to get back, so. This Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? No. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? He said, Are you right, sure you're up for this? I said, No. Just no. I don't want to do this. Come back in one place. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> I love my, I love my cowboy skin. Cool. That was a survivor rank up. I'm gonna get barterer so I can buy things at a lower Are you price. Are up? Yeah, I leveled up my survivor rank. Oh. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Did you get lost? Hmm. No. Maybe. <laughs> Watching her little marker thing run around the the, t the floor above us like a little rat is funny. I'm <laughs> not a rat. Scurrying around like a little rat. I'm <laughs> not a rat. <laughs> yes, you are. So okay, how am I an owl and a rat and a gremlin? You can be multiple things. I'm also a mushroom too, so how does that make the sense? Opportunity. In Destiny, you're an owl and, well, in a lot of games you're an owl because you can't see glass. I have trouble seeing glass, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you walked in the windows in real life. <laughs> I already told you I have. I forgot about that. <laughs> I can tell. We have any more bounties? We do not. All right. So because I don't really feel like going, eh, Great. might as well. Fuck it. Can you hear me? What? Jade? Yeah, what? I copy. Something wrong? What? No, 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 tell me what we're doing. Listen, we're going to rise, which is across the town, right? And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. I don't wanna. Because yeah, we're going across the town. I'm doing it because if we don't get Anderson So I have a question. Do you want to do this to now or do you want to wait until day? We'll right wait until day. Alright, come here. He was the best. I don't want to be around with know. those things out. But I just want you to know that I don't if there is a choice that we can do things in the daytime, I'm always going to pick the daytime. Jade. We talk when I, get I love how like we we had a whole conversation while we were sleeping. Just come back in one piece, alright? 
Okay, they sleep talk. Don't judge them. Oh, look! Supply drop! Where's it dropping? Where's it dropping? Where's it dropping? Oh, that's right next to us. Nice. Oh, that is right good. next to us. That is a good thing we slept. Join it. I mean, there's no point in not doing these. It's free XP. Also, by the way, the, like, landing of these are entirely random. Oh, wait. Hold on. Me stand back. You touch it. Then you can do it again to get XP. It's... Those don't work for this. Um. Did you grab your rewards out of it? Yeah. All right. So now what we do is we come back here. Well, let's not do this because if we die, we lose the XP. But if we die, we don't lose the pack. Okay? okay. So what you do is you go to a quartermaster. So you see on your mini map, and now you see those little white symbols. They're yeah. like very noticeable now. We go to those and we can turn in our packs to them. We get like 500 survivor XP per one we turn in. Okay. Also, I suggest looting Rise's men when we kill them, because they do drop um, some good stuff sometimes. I don't want to be on the pole. Why are you on the pole? Oh. That was a runner. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna go buy some more weapons from uh, the Hell Raid. Hell Raid? Yeah. You're liking the weapons? It's not that, it's just that it's a lot cleaner. Easier. It's a lot easier, yeah. And there's no point in us challenging ourselves when we do plan on actually using DLC weapons. And a lot of the DLC weapons are just broken. So basically, what you- ooh! Survivor. Ooh, it's a shop survivor. Oh, he's up here. So these little yellow boxes here, you open them and you can find random items in it. Okay. Those are some nice weapons. Ooh, he's on duct tape. You basically just need to loot random things until you can find what you're looking That's for. Fun, but I can make a bow if I get one more nail. I need two nails and one duct tape. <laughs> you're also trying to make a make a bow. Yeah, but I'm trying to make a different bow. I think. Which one are you trying to make? Uh, hold on, let me look. <laughs> Ranger bow. That's the bow I'm also trying to make. 
Oh. Oop, I just need one more nail and then I can make it. Oh no. What'd you do? I fell all the way back down. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, I just went through the wall to get up. Blade. What the know. fuck? Yeah. Something broke this thing out here. Oh. What can I craft now that I have alcohol? Wait, what whatever fell must have. Uh... Fell from really high up because there's nothing higher than this unless it's that holy. But ow! Oh, I cut its head off. <laughs> Thank you. I was in my inventory. I saw her <laughs> appear, and I just got out of my inventory to kill her. Um. Oh, I was almost dead, and I saw you chopped its head off. Gusts of wind, sometimes. So, regular ranger arrows take one metal parts, one nails to make. But you make five, okay? Okay. Uh, down here... The Gust of Wind, I believe it's a crossbow. Uh, to make one bolt, you need one metal part and one nail, and you make ten. I don't know which one's better to make. Whoa! Another blade. Where did you go? I fell out of the building. How? I decided to run, and then when I did, I ran out the door and fell. Oh. There's a statue in here. and blades. You can also sometimes find nails in these uh, cabinets.
I know you are all for that. Let me down here. <laughs> oh, no, this is like that. Okay, I'll be right there. Also, you still have your flashlight on. Thank you. I'm gonna go over here. I think whenever we make it into a competition, I'm pretty sure it automatically spawns Rises Men on it. So let's see if I don't create a competition for this one, if we just get a normal supply drop. No Rises Men! I don't even know where that's like rock was. It's on me. You want. Just come over to me. Mm, just be patient. Come over to me. I told you to be patient. Come over to me. Can you stop? <laughs> nice. We got some UV flares as well. Usually, any flares you get from these are gonna be UV flares, so... I just got regular flares. There's- there, I don't believe that there's actually a name difference in the UV ones and the normal ones. See, we get a thousand for doing a safe house, and I think we get only 500 for turning in one of the packs. But if you really think about it, like, if you're just prioritizing packs, you can rack these up pretty quickly. Has it been since it first started? What? The whole apocalypse thing. Um, Haran was the first instance of the apocalypse. Um, Haran is ground zero. However, I'm pretty sure it's been about 10, 15 years since the start, I think. And there's like an, uh, I believe a five year gap between this game and the next game. The reason I asked is because I wanted to know what kind of time it started because the world does look like it's been like this for a good while. Yeah, about 10, 15 years. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Because depending if it just started, it wouldn't look like this. Yeah. But, um, currently Haran is the only place affected by the virus. 
we need to go through the tunnel? I don't think we need to go through the tunnel. I think we need to come up over here. Why is your health so low? Uh, oh, because I was fighting all the zombies in that safe house. Okay, Raheem, yeah, Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Oh yeah, I forgot I can slide. Okay, so there's also two don't shoot, don't shoot. different kinds of vehicles, uh, trucks, alright? There is the medical trucks and police trucks. There's also police cars as well. Um, Medical cars obviously give you medical supplies. Police cars are going to give you ammo, weapons, and later on, guns. Alright. I'm going to the bathroom while this cutscene plays. Okay. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time, and that is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left. <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some fantasy. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Oh, you saw Rise cut off someone's hand? Uh, yeah. Oh, my drift. He's making me go forward now. <laughs> Any weapons I can make with this new knife? Let's take the hand. No, I can't. I want to you... slap someone with the hand. <laughs> what? You trying to take someone's hand? I want it. Yeah. It's funny how quickly we betray, uh... Rise, by the way. Like, we betray this dude so fast. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of answers. Oh, yeah, isn't it funny how this is a um, GRE operative? Mm -hmm. the, the dude we just watched uh, cut someone else's hand off, he's from the GRE. Who's the GRE? The, the, Rice, the dude we just watched cut another dude's hand off. Yeah. He's from the GRE. Aren't they the bad people? Yep. Okay, thank you. Currently... Kyle Crane is a GRE operative. There 
you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from <laughs> Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. <laughs> Oh, that's all we needed from in here, I believe. For some reason, my quests aren't like auto retracking the uh, Just met a guy named Kareem. main story quests. Like I don't know why. Elmo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem sending me to fix him. Also, yeah. Better than being I'll hit track. Boy. We'll do a quest, and then we'll untrack itself. But, um, so, there is something in multiplayer that only occurs in multiplayer, and it is called, um, what is it? Hold on. Let me, zombie invasion. Okay. Okay. Um... Every seven nights, we have a chance for a zombie invasion to happen. When they happen, uh, a random... We'll get two other random joins for the nighttime. Or while this uh, event is going off. And what will happen is another random player will be a zombie. They will be attempting to kill us. We will be attempting to kill that player's nests. If we successfully kill that player's nest, we get a Just very, realize, very no big chunk of cash, Guys, big chunk of XP, and a big, a beefy warlord. weapon. Um, you put on uh, seven days. No, he thinks I'm just a guy yeah. from the tower. In fact, okay. he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. I can change the settings on when it happens, if you want it to be sooner. But if we Wait. don't want it to happen, Wait we can out. just sleep through the night. So literally for us to not do it, it we just need to keep it day. Okay. But if you want them, if you want to actually experience them, we can change the settings on it later when it's, when we're a lot stronger. Yeah, I didn't know what that was, so for my character and my world on this, I just put it as 7. Yeah, or not 7, well, for everyone, not just Rise. This rooftop is very fun if you have dropkick. Yeah. Ow, I missed the dude. <laughs> I completely missed the trash, the dude, and the zombie down below. Oh. I'm killing <laughs> everything up top on here. Nice. I think that's everything done. Alright, so you should see on your map a weird little white circle with a white dot in the middle of it. You yeah. need to go interact with that, and you'll be able to uh, secure the safe house. Oh, you need. Yep, you need to clear safe houses, and then you need to secure them. There you go. Nice, good job. You have successfully cleared your very first safe house. Okay, we can't open the weird red door, though. 
No, a lot of doors in this game you can't interact with. Well, no, it let me interact with it. I just couldn't open it. Yeah. That's how most doors are in this game. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, but there's something white. Huh? Oh, it's a bed. <laughs> Wait until night? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, mushroom, you want to do nighttime stuff? Okay. No, 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 no. No. Step one. And there's another safe house cleared. I almost am ready to level up my survivor rank. rank. Oh, you finally get to see what one of these are. Oh. Right, come here. Okay, so you see how on your map there should be a little white... Ow. Yeah. A little white airdrop symbol? Yes. That means that there's a old supply drop here. It means that we have to do a puzzle in order to properly obtain the supply drop. I'll participate. Oh, I killed it. Yeah. I killed it in one grenade. No, I threw two on it. Your grenade hit last. Mushroom, there is a lot of guys behind you. Yeah, I see that. It's from instead. Yeah, the flares are UV flares. do? I... it put its hammer down. I accidentally fell in and then... I threw a bunch of knives at it. Oh no. What? That. What was that? So, some zombies have oxygen tanks on their backs, alright? Okay. If you hit them, they go flying and then explode. And that was one of these old su old uh, supply drop crates. So basically, Rises men looted it and then moved it into a crate. Uh, most of the time, it isn't actual I'm at the first antenna. kits, but sometimes it is. Here, 
Jesus! <laughs> I think the car exploded. I was hitting him, not the car. I think he hit the car, and it caused a bomb on the other side of the car to go off. Or one of the, like, oil tanks. All I know is he caused it to happen. Though it is very few that times that this happens, but there is cases where, um... Are you still alive? No, I'm in a different safe house. Oh. Mm. Safe house over here. Because I'm claiming it. Oh no. That was a bad idea. Oh no. Why is it press that? Ow! <laughs> I got exploded twice! <laughs> Wait, secure safe zone. I can be here and then not target me? Oh, no. No, you have to actually yes. secure it. No, I created the thing, but I was still in the thing to... Oh, I didn't join it. I was, I was trying to join it, but I died, so I couldn't. No, when you died, it still let me be in the thing, but... Yeah, that's how I was the other day when, or when we did the first episode, and I was just staying in a group of zombies. You were just like, how are you not dying? And I'm like, because I'm in a thing? Okay, I'm on the little roof thing. Ow! Also, there's no point in, like, not clamming the safe houses, since clamming a safe house just gives us more freedom to do things. No, it's fine. I like claiming the safe houses. I do, too. So, plug up. What I'm doing, uh, lockpicks is kind of the only thing I enjoy. So, plug up. Yes, I know you said that. Oh. Ugh. Uh, remember when we make it into a competition, it spawns Rise's Med so we get less loot. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. I keep forgetting that, so I just automatically press it. No, you're fine. Wait, why are they here then? They aren't. These are dis different, um, dudes. Oh no! I killed the I killed the survivor. <laughs> Why'd you kill the survivor? Because he popped up because the zombie swiped him, so he glitched out and stood up to fight the zombie. And because he stood up, I hit him. Anyways, here's more free loot. Bitch. How many flyers does that make at me have? I have... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
just happened? I hit a uh, zombie with a propane tank on his back, and they okay. they go flying and then explode, and it's really fun to, to watch. Is this another safe house? Uh, I believe this becomes a safe house eventually, but... I'm trying to make him hit the crate. Anyways, we gotta go right here. Ow. Help. Come here. Welcome to the thing that vomits on you because it likes personal touching. I don't like personal to touching you. It, it likes to touch you. <laughs> I don't even want to search this thing. I. You got it, Mushroom? No. <laughs> Here, let me see it. No. Let me see it. No. I wanna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, let me see it. Let me embarrass you real quick. No. Yes. No. Let me do it. No. Stop. <laughs> Spent the skill point. Give me I did it. Nice. Goodbye. Wait, what? <laughs> Gotta climb a tower. Um... I gotta climb the tower. Uh, Only one of us need to do it. I don't think that there's anything on the top of this one. Actually, wait, no, I think this one has a uh, statue on the top of it. Whoa! I missed my jump. I can tell. I won't give it away. I don't know, maybe you've fallen down in front of me. Nah. You don't think so? No. Okay.
I have not found a single screw or duct tape lying around this world yet. I have seen- I have gotten so much duct tape. I, I have not it. seen a single duct tape. Or I screw. Got, oh, no, or nail. I keep I mean. getting screws and duct tape. I keep getting I power cables it. and I can't get a single thing of duct tape. No, I've given- okay, the things I've mostly gotten uh, batteries and tape. You can drop duct tape. No. I almost fell. Well, I did fall. Fine. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next no. tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Is there anything up there? <laughs> That's what I'm checking. Is it crate? What does it have? With... For me, it has a blade and coffee in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a it's flag up here. It. One of the XP things is up here. You know what? It's not worth it. Alright. I have fallen too many times. Whee! Don't kill yourself. <laughs> Funnily enough, I shouldn't have died. I landed in water, and that was like swimmable water. I don't know why I died. <laughs> Hi. I survived off of one health. Why did you respawn up there? Because this is considered a, a checkpoint. Okay, what do you need, then? I need duct tape, but I'm gonna start heading to the next mission location because you're down there and I'm at the zip line. We can do. Yeah. You can drop me duct tape whenever we're at a safe house. Mm. Huh? I said fine. I'm already by the zip line end. Just come down. I already forgot how to climb this tower. Wait, what part? Or which zip line? <laughs> the one over here. <laughs> well, I went <laughs> You went to the opposite side! I thought you were going on that zip line. <laughs> you went to the exact opposite side! Shut up! Got him! <laughs> It's back here, cuck. I'm after a zombie or something. I'm running after a dude. There. Nice. <laughs> now bye. What? Hey, no, I'm zombie. What? Bye. Great. Thank you. Oh, you died. Yeah. I'm, I'm on my way. I was at one health that entire time. I'm on my time. way. I died. <laughs> I got poisoned. Oh, hello. There's a shop. Wanna 
deal. Okay, drop duct tape. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I don't know how to drop things. Find it in your inventory, and then click R3. Uh, okay. Thank you. I can craft a new item. What the hell can I craft? Not the item I want to craft. I think we are going to make the same bow, the ranger bow. Yeah, we already said that. Well, I don't know. I still might make the crossbow. I mean, the second transmitter's trashed. The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably die horribly. Find a safe house or try to make it back. Uh, we can just do this mission. Mission should take us to where we need to go. There is a few missions that you need to do that you can only do at night. Mm. But those missions usually have a uh, safe house like right next to them. Uh. I can't make that jump. <laughs> is this a safe house? I need to go. No, this isn't a safe house, but we can stop now. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!